Hi guys, my name is Jemmy. Hi guys, my name is Afi. And today, me and Afi are going to be showing you the simple line follower. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to make line follower to follow your lines, go to where you want it to go, and the speed plus the sensitivity. You'll experiment it and we'll conclude the code for you guys. See you in the video. Okay guys, now we're at the coding part. So first of all, let's make some variables. The first variable, I will name this power to know how fast our bot will move. And then we, obviously we need for the right wheel and the left wheel, so power right, and whoops, power right, and power left, power left, like this. After that, we're going to just set sensitivity, so sensitivity, like this, sensitivity, okay. After we're done with that, then what we want to do is we want to make another block called run line like this and we want to go in extensions and for you you would need to get rgb line follower which i already got after that um run line we need uh we need to define it so first of all we're going to get rgb line follower switch to upload mode and get a uh, 0.3 sensitivity but instead of 0.3 we're going to turn into sensitivity like this after that, we're going to set our power right and power left. So power left and power right. Power left is diff uh, power plus differential speed, and power right is power minus differential speed. And remember, power is always in front. You can't get differential speed in front of power because it's like math, like 15 minus 7, that would equal 8, but if 7 minus 15, it won't equal 8. So yeah, and remember, power always in front. So power and power like this guys after we're done with that then what we want to do is we want to um, go in differential speed so RGB line follower here we go differential speed like this and like this after that we're going to go in action left wheel and right wheel turn so left wheel turn at power left and right wheel turn at power right like this after that, what we want to do is we want to get um, when mbot mcore starts up, like this. After we got when mbot mcore starts up, we're going to have to get uh, initialize RGB line follower at whatever port yours is at. Mine's at port 1, so port 1. And then uh, turn the color, so here we are. And you can choose what color you want. I want it to be green. After that, we're going to go in variables, set, power, no, just power to what, whatever you want from 30 to 50. So I'm just going to do 40. And then set sensitivity. Sensitivity to about 0 0.5. No, 9. 5, actually. Okay. Like this, after we got like that, then what we want to do is we want to get a forever loop like this. And if then loop for um, clicking our onboard button. So. An on button press. We're gonna wait until onboard button is released. Then we're going to uh, make it run line until it reaches the black dot in 2019's map, which is starting from starting area one. So repeat until RGB line follower senses one 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 like this. Run line in the meanwhile, and then we're going to put stop moving at the end. So like this. Okay, once we're done with that, we're done with the code, and I'll see you in the next section. Bye. To pass is for the robot to reach the M06 circle. To fail is for the robot to not reach the M06 circle. Okay guys, we concluded the results from our experiment. So as you can see, there's like a hill between check marks and um, X's. The check marks mean it's successful and the X's mean it's um, failed. So as you can see, 0 0.9 is like the max it could go all the way into 80, which is pretty impressive. 
Although I expected one to go all the way to like 100 or something. But the point is, one actually got less than 0 0.9. So I recommend using 0 0.9 for your sensitivity uh, because it could do the most speed. And here in the speed, we also have the winners. 100, just cut it out, it cannot be used. Same as 0 0.1, it cannot be used. These two cannot be used, so cut them out. 90 cannot be used either. And 0 0.2 could be only used for like 30 and 40, which means like it's really slow. So if you're looking for like a high speed and like guaranteed to um, work uh, for your power, then you should go with 70 or 60. They're really good because like 60 is like one, two, three, four. So there's like 60 is successful with 0 0.4, 0 0.5, all the way until one. That's until 60. 60 is successful. But if you want to go more faster, then go in 70, which is successful from 0 0.8 to one. After that, 50 is like in the middle, which I always use. It doesn't get too much or too less. For me, it's like perfect. And 40 and 30 are for the slow, um, the slow but sure. Like everything they pass except 0 0.1 because nobody could pass that. It has two less sensitivity. So technically they passed all of it, but they're pretty slow. So I recommend you using 50 and then it says sensitivity 0 0.9 and it'll work like the best combo. So trust me on this one and you will have a good result for your match. So as as you can see, the speed and the sensitivity were really important. What I learned from my last match from 2019 was that the speed could change your whole match. If you practice at home and you set the speed to 30 and it like works perfectly everything, the, like, what is it called? The mat of each situation are different. One mat might have more friction than the other. One mat is might more bumpy. Yeah. So you gotta be prepared for all situations. So what I'm recommending to you today is for you to find your perfect number and then increase it and decrease it a little bit and see what else it does. So like you should make it go to another mat in another place or area. Then you should try it out because I recommend for you to be ready in any situations. Thanks for learning with Coding for Kids in Simple Line Follower. Bye! Bye!